Welcome to Fairy Garden Thursday. This is a collab hosted by the one and only Grandma Sandy. She is the queen of fairy gardens on YouTube. Go check her out. Today is a very special video. This fairy garden is two to three months in the making. I started making it in the middle of summer and it is finally done and I am so excited to show you. This fairy garden is very special to me because where it is located was previously a bamboo grove which one of my neighbors requested I remove. It was a little bit of a sad day but I knew that I could turn it into something unique and beautiful and interesting so I took something that was maybe not the happiest of times and turned it into something very whimsical and unique that brings me joy. So that is why I'm so excited to share this garden with you because it is so fun seeing Spirit Falls. Here we have a giant spirit tree that looks out over this waterfall which goes into a sacred pool where one single swan resides. Here we have the treehouse right along this riverbed and introducing the river monster, Mr. Alien Man. He resides in this river. This river has several resident frogs that call this place home. The spirit of Dr. Wood has moved into this dry riverbed at Spirit Falls. You may remember Dr. Wood from some of my magical mushroom videos. This is his original spirit. His body has now changed, but his spirit remains unchanged. And if we take a closer look at the river, we've got a resident turtle just hanging out. A few random fish scattered throughout the river. Lots of different plants and foliage. And here is the river shrine. It is unknown who created. Nobody knows who created this monument in the river, but it must have been eons ago because it has been here for who knows how long. Nobody really knows how long this monumental statue has been here, but it is definitely a sacred monument and Mr. Alien Man takes good care of the monument. Moving down the riverbed, we have a frog king who loves to sunbathe on these little wooden platforms. He also is one of the local residents here. We've got some foliage at the far end of the river before the river turns and goes into an underground stream. Here we have another resident spirit. This spirit is known as Sleepy Hollow. Nobody really knows how Sleepy Hollow got his name, but he is another river security guy. He works with Dr. Alien Man and the king of the spirit world right over here who will remain nameless to protect this sacred body of water. And right here we have a portal. It is unknown if this portal possesses time machine like qualities. We have a snail that is attempting to enter the portal and there is a frog on the other side of the portal. It is unknown if the frog has actually journeyed into the portal. Mr. Alien Man was not paying attention, was on his break for the day when this frog made his way to the portal. So he doesn't know if this frog is in the time and space that he is in or is he somewhere else in a different dimension. 
he's keeping a very close watch. The Mr. Alien Man is keeping a very close watch on this frog because he is unsure if he means well or is he coming from another time dimension to cause trouble in this sacred river space. I hope my dry creek riverbed area at Spirit Falls sparks a little imagination whether that's creating a new piece of art a new garden display designing something new in your home let this video inspire your creativity i hope you have a lovely day evening night wherever you are bye for now